scientists managed to uncover the secret of the 600-year-old tomb in Canterbury Cathedral, in which Edward Woodstock, the Black Prince, the eldest son of King Edward III of England and one of the greatest knights of the Middle Ages rests. A fisherman accidentally discovered the skull of a prehistoric bison, and in a diamond, scientists discovered a mineral that should not be in nature. In one of the ancient caves, archaeologists have discovered a child of darkness skull. About this and not only, watch this video. Hi friend, you're on the Kurt Up channel. Stone burials in Switzerland Eight prehistoric tombs have been discovered by scientists in the Swiss suburb of Pali. According to preliminary estimates, burials were made in the period from 5.5 to 6.5 millennia ago. The last time finds in this necropolis in the suburbs of Lausanne were made in 1984. In anticipation of construction work on the Chamon de Verny, archaeologists were called to the site for preventive excavations. A huge prehistoric necropolis stretches from Rue Chamon de Verny to Rue Chamon de Chamblins. It was first discovered over a century ago by the Swiss archaeologist, historian and architect Albert Naif. Considering the latest finds, about 80 tombs were discovered in the necropolis. The cantonal authorities said eight tombs made from mollus slabs were found in an area of just 10 square meters. Mollus is a term that usually refers to sandstone, shale and other forms of rock formed by the formation and rise of new mountain ranges. This material is often found in the Alps and Himalayas. It is also known that the sarcophaguses were at a shallow depth, and their cover plates were split and therefore were only partially removed. Two of the graves remained intact, the rest were damaged by recent communal works in the area. This led to the fact that the remains of skeletons, mainly cranial boxes, were preserved in only three burials. Skull Child of Darkness the oldest human remains of the species Homo naledi were found in the Rising Star Cave in Johannesburg, located about 12 meters from the Dinaledi chamber. Among the remains, archaeologists from the University of Witwatersrand have discovered for the first time a partial skull of a child. It consists of 28 fragments. Specialists reconstructed parts of the skull and restored the upper part of the jaw with teeth and the frontal orbits. They also managed to establish that the child died almost 250,000 years ago, when he was approximately four to six years old. No other bones were found. The team named the child Fly, which means lost. Scientists know the special significance of this find, as it will help to understand the ancient ancestors of modern men. The first remains of Homo naledi were discovered in the Rising Star Cave in 2015. Since then, almost 2,000 separate fragments of more than two dozen individuals of this species have been restored. According to Professor Lee Berger, Homo naledi remains one of the most mysterious ancient human relatives ever discovered. Prehistoric Bison Skull a resident of Volgograd found the skull of a prehistoric bison in the Volga, in the vicinity of the Krasnak Taborsky district. The find is of archaeological value. It was made not far from the boat station in the north of Volgograd. The span of the horns of the prehistoric bison skull is about one and a half meters. The diver who discovered the skull categorically refused to transfer the find to the museum. It is noted that the remains of a large horned bison in the Volgograd region have been found more than once. They are also presented in the exposition of local museums. 3,000-year-old statues of Monte Prama the stone giants of Sardinia, or the giants of Monte Prama, are huge statues about 3,000 years old. They were discovered in the spring of 1974 by Sardinian farmers who plowed fields and accidentally stumbled upon what looked like a large rock. Upon closer inspection, they discovered something much more intriguing, a large stone head. Their discovery became one of the most important in the Western Mediterranean, dating back to the Iron Age. Sardinian farmers found the first of thousands of fragments collected by archaeologists over the following decades. Dozens of giant statues have been assembled from these parts. All of them are cut from solid blocks of limestone. Their height is often more than two meters. Historians are still racking their brains over what exactly the giants of Monte Prama are. But everyone agrees that they are a testament to the remarkable Iron Age culture that flourished nearly 3,000 years ago. The stone giants of Sardinia have rather unusual, memorable facial features. They have triangular faces with pronounced eyebrows and noses that have a strict T-shape. But the most unusual are the eyes. Each eye is formed by two almost perfect cir circles, outer and inner. Some of the statues are holding shields, others bows. On this basis, scientists have divided the statues into three types – archers, warriors and boxers. The statues are missing many elements, but archaeologists believe that when they were not dead, 
damaged, each sculpture displayed the full range of features characteristic of a particular category. Boxers, the most numerous category today, they are depicted with bare chest and stocky bodies. Each figure holds a shield over its head. Archaeologists have found out from the fragments that the boxers once held a ritual combat glove in the right hand. Historians speculate that they symbolized athletic combatants who may have played a religious role. Archers are presented with their right hand raised as a token of greeting. Their gloved left hand holds a bow over their shoulder. No well-preserved archer hats have yet been found, so scientists believe they have the same facial features as the warriors. The latter were found in small numbers and also poorly preserved. Their helmets have a crest in the center and two horns. Probably all of them initially carried round shields. Statues of the ancient Greek gods Aphrodite and Dionysus the heads of statues of ancient Greek gods were discovered during excavations at the mouth of the river in the city of Azenoi, Turkey. Most likely, they belong to Aphrodite and Dionysus. The age of the find is about 5,000 years. Interestingly, during the excavations that were carried out earlier, archaeologists found the bodies of the statues and without heads, they could only guess to whom they were dedicated. And now, after a while, the riddle was solved. The heads, like their bodies, were expertly crafted from limestone by craftsmen around 5,000 years ago. Unfortunately, archaeologists do not yet know the reason why the statues of Aphrodite and Dionysus were destroyed. But despite this, they still have a couple of assumptions. The first says that in ancient times there could be a workshop where the statues were created. The theory of the second version is based on the finds that were made in August this year. Then archaeologists discovered another statue of the goddess Hygieia was believed to be responsible for health and purity, and scientists suggested that there could be health complexes. According to experts, the city of Eisenhoi was found in 3300 BC. During the Hellenistic period, the city was divided between two kingdoms, Pergamon and Biathenia, until it finally passed to Rome in 134 BC. Unique Mineral in Diamond in a diamond extracted from the depth of the Earth, scientists have discovered the first sample of a previously unseen mineral, Dave Maute. This is the first high-pressure calcium silicate perovskite sample found on Earth. Another form of calcium metasilicate, known as wollastonite, is found throughout the world, but the crystal structure of Dave Maute is formed only under high pressure and at high temperatures. Such conditions exist in the Earth's mantle, a solid layer between the outer core and the crust. The pressurized form of calcium silicate was predicted more than half a century ago. Since then, scientists have not yet been able to fix it. Dave Maite is extremely sensitive to pressure changes. However, this time geologists were still able to discover the rarest mineral by observing the scattering of X-rays from the surface of a diamond. They analyzed a sample from Botswana that formed in the metal at a depth of about 660 kilometers from the Earth's surface and revealed a sample of Dave Maite trapped inside. As a result, the international the National Mineralogical Association designed Dave Maite as a new mineral. Dave Maite is believed to play an important geochemical role in the Earth's mantle. Scientists speculate that the mineral may also contain other trace elements, including uranium and thorium, which generate heat through radioactive decay. It is possible that Dave Maite contributes to the release of heat in the mantle. The Mystery of the 600-Year-Old Tomb of the Black Prince the Black Prince lived from 1330 to 1376. He led the army in important battles of the Hundred Years' War and was one of the best warriors of his time. Edward Woodstock did not die on the battlefield, an infectious disease was the cause of his death. The day before his death, he dictated detailed instructions on what his grave should look like. The Black Prince wanted to be dressed in armor as before the next military campaign. Only six centuries later, a group of scientists led by Jessica Barker, a professor at the Courtauld Institute of Art was able to look inside the tomb for the first time using an endoscope. Researchers were amazed at how accurately Edward Woodstock's armor was crafted. This is the same armor that adorns the tomb. It has been reproduced with the utmost precision, down to the smallest details like rivets. Scientists also found that the grave and the bronze statue that adorn it were made 10 years after the death of the Black Prince, and not soon after his death, as previously thought. Experts noted that the tomb of Edward of Woodstock is similar to the tomb of his father, Edward III, which is located in Westminster Abbey. The king died 
in 1377, a year after his son. The installation of the memorials was carried out by the son of Edward of Woodstock, King Richard II. He ordered the production of the tomb of his father and grandfather, strictly following the instructions of Black Prince. Signed to this conclusion after studying the only surviving document on the creation of the grave, dated 1386, it says that the materials for the statue and coffin were obtained about 10 years after the death of a Black Prince and Edward III. Remains of a new kind of dinosaur an international team of scientists studied the remains of two dinosaurs discovered in 1994 in East Greenland and determined that this is a species previously unknown to science. AC Sonic lived 240 million years ago during the Late Triassic period. It was during this time that the supercontinent Pangaea disintegrated and the Atlantic Ocean began to form. It was a medium-sized hub of a dinosaur with a long neck. The species is one of the forerunners of sauropods, the largest land animals that have ever existed. The team performed microcomputed tomography of the bones, which allowed them to create digital 3D models of internal structures and bones still covered in sediment. The anatomy of the two skulls is unique in many ways, such as the shape and proportion of the bones. These specimens certainly belong to a new species. The dinosaur found in Greenland is unlike any other sauropod and morph found so far. Probably the representatives of this species were most similar to the dinosaurs found in Brazil, Macrocolum and Unosaurus. Gold fold in the form of a book a very rare find was discovered by Buffy Bailey from Lancaster. In a field near the city of York, with the help of a metal detector, a woman discovered a small object shaped like a miniature book. The item is only one and a half centimeters long. As Buffy herself told the British magazine Treasure Hunting, she and her husband regularly go in search of treasures using a metal detector for this. And on that day, she was incredibly lucky because she discovered such a valuable find almost immediately after the start of the search. At first, Buffy did not understand what exactly she had found. But after rubbing the find a little, she saw that the object was heavy and resembled a book in shape. According to the law, Buffy Bailey took this find to the corner of the city of York, and he did not hesitate to conclude that the item fell under the Treasure Act. The involved specialist also estimated the value of the rare find at approximately 100,000 pounds sterling. The Yorkshire Museum has already declared its rights to buy out the gold fold. It is known that in 1992, the Yorkshire Museum purchased a gold pendant of the 15th century for two and a half million pounds, also found by a lover of instrument search. A specialist in medieval iconography has established that the fold depicts Saint Leonard and Saint Margaret. In the Middle Ages, they were considered the patrons of pregnant women and women in labor. Mysterious pentagonal structure 5,500 years old In China's northern province of Shanxi, archaeologists have unearthed the remains of a 5,500-year-old pentagonal structure. The find was made at a construction site in Taiwan, the capital of Shanxi province, and according to experts, belonged to the middle and late stages of the development of the Yangshou culture. It is already known that the semi-underground house discovered in the ruins occupies a total area of 90 square meters, and the surviving walls have a maximum width of 50 centimeters. Researchers found that the walls were tiled with a mixture of mud and grass, and several holes were found where wooden posts were placed to support the house and the walls. Scientists believe that 5,500 years ago, this pentagonal house was the assembly hall of the tribe. They note that pentagonal buildings were rare for the period. In addition, a total of 98 ash pits, 11 pottery kilns, two houses and six tombs of the Ming and Qing dynasties were discovered at the site. Many pottery items have also been found, including earthen pots and sharp bottom pots and bottles. According to Axfords, the find is of great academic importance for understanding cultural characteristics and ancient cultural interactions in Taiwan and neighboring areas. The Yangshou culture, which originated in the middle reaches of the Yellow River, is considered the mainstream of Chinese culture and is well known for its excellent pottery craftsmanship. Unknown human species Homo naledi an unknown human species was discovered in South Africa. In one of the caves, many bones were found similar to humans, but more than 2 million years old. 
The story begins in South Africa in 2013, when two cavers descended into a system of dolomite caves with the unusual name Rising Star. In one of the branches of the cave, a huge number of human-like bones were found. After taking the pictures, the cavers handed them over to the famous anthropologist Lee Berger. He assembled a team of 60 people to explore this place. The main roles in this expedition were for six slender girls who passed through the narrow passages of the caves and brought the bones from there. A total of 1,550 fragments were recovered. And already with a detailed study of this material, scientists found out that they are dealing with a new species of man which they called Homo naledi, from the word star. Archaeologists and scientists were able to create a reconstruction of an ancient man quite accurately. They revealed the main characteristic features, for example, they had curved phalanx on their hands, which suggests that this species could easily climb a tree. The star man had unusually long legs, which indicated he traveled long distances. Homo naledi were short, about one and a half meters, weighing up to 50 kilograms. In the scientific community, the find gave rise to great controversy. At the moment, there was speculation that this is an extinct species of hominite that lived in South Africa about 2 million years ago. The authenticity of the headdress of the last ruler of the Aztecs the feather item, long mistaken by scholars for the headdress of Guatemala, the last Aztec ruler of the Acamapechli dynasty, is currently on display at the National Museum of Anthropology of Mexico in an exhibition commemorating the 500th anniversary of the fall of the Aztec city-state of Tenochtitlan. Recently, French and Mexican experts studied it and came to the conclusion that it is impossible to wear this object on the head. And this is not the only surprise. It turned out that it was created between 1626 and 1810, while the Tlatoani Quatemoc was hanged by order of Hernan Cortes in 1525. The pseudo-artifact got into the museum collection thanks to the 19th early 20th century French antiques dealer Eugene Bobin, who specialized in pre-Columbian Mesoamerican antiquities. Bobin was an antique dealer at the court of Maximilian I, the first and last emperor of Mexico from the Habsburg dynasty, and acted as an intermediary in the sale of the Quatemoc headdress. By the way, this is not the first fake on the account of the antiquarian. The crystal skull, originally sold by Bobin and now in the British Museum, also turned out to be a 19th century forgery rather than a pre-Columbian artifact. Rate this video with your thumb up or down, write a kind comment, and soon a new video will be waiting for you on the channel. Thanks for your views. Bye, everyone!